Good job, good. Yep. Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. And today we are at Kentucky Lake. Fishing out of the Moors Resort. We're with Don Schnook Kahuna, the big kahuna. And we're catching these. That is a real dandy right there, buddy. About a pound and a quarter. Yeah, right on. We're gonna talk a little bit about how we're catching these guys. We're gonna put this guy in the cooler, hopefully catch a bunch more. What? That's a nice, that's what are you nicer doing? fish. That's a nice fish What are there. you doing? <laughs> Just hitting the bottom. You're not supposed to outfish the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's a nicer fish there. That'll work. Bro, look at here. <laughs> <laughs> you got the yellow and I got the white, huh? You can see the difference. Very prominent stripes on the yellow fish. Delicious to eat. Those are just absolutely perfect and they're gorgeous. What are we putting these down? Right here, school. Okay. We're in about 17 feet of water. We got a ledge right here that comes up to about 11 feet. Another ledge over here that comes up to 11 feet. And there's a hole about 17 feet, 18 feet down. It'll even get to 60 feet right off of the edge and then the other side. But what we're doing is we're on the bottom and you can see this jig here. And it's acting like a wounded minnow. So once it hits the bottom, it flutters down, coming up, bring it up, and it flutters down, hits the bottom, bring it back up, flutters, hits the bottom. And that fish is just coming up and just hitting it really hard. The current throws that bait against these walls. And these things are kind of lazy. They just sit around and wait for something to come by to chew on. So the current throws the bait fish against the wall, and these guys are just sitting down there and picking them off. Huh? They're just they're just waiting for the easy meal. That's a nice fish, Larry. Oh. The big kahuna. Now that's a nice fish there. That's that's what about two pounds? I'd say about a pound and a half. Look how thick he is across the back. Yeah. That's a See all that meat right there? Beautiful yep. fish. like a cat? It could be except for a big stripe. I believe it's probably a catfish. No, it's a oh, stripe. Big striper. Suicide fish. Double. <laughs> we got the double going. So Don, what's the limit on these? Uh, 15 per person on the white bass and uh, 20 on the yellows. We just we just come up on another pile of fish. They're suspended at about 14 foot. Our depth is exactly 18 and a half feet but our fish are running between 15 and a half to 14 feet. There should be catchable stripes. So our jigging cadence today is almost like an ice fishing cadence or a rip jigging technique. It's really just drop it down, hit the bottom, rip it up. Drop it down, hit the bottom, rip it up. And what these fish are doing is they're actually hitting it on the, on the drop. There's one right there. And now how cool is that? Don, you just gave me the right bait. I kahunatized it. <laughs> I can de it if I have to now. Don't do that. Well, that's a keeper right there. Don't, Good eating right there. Don't, Keep throwing don't in there. be de kahooning me. <laughs> there he is. I got one too, Larry. Jeez. Let's just they double are up on him. Stacked them. here. You know, and here's the key. I'm, I'm fishing with fluorocarbon line. Got some trilene fluorocarbon on there. It's really light, 10 pound, but it'll, it'll sink and it gets down to the bottom nice and easy. With that ghost minnow on there, you just hit, it, hit the bottom, tap it up, these guys are just hammering it. We're staying at the Moors here this week, and I'll tell you, it's one of the nicest resorts that I've been to for the sole purpose that Mark and Kathy, the owners, are constantly updating and upgrading all of their amenities. They're constantly building and upgrading new cabins. They've got townhouses, a lodge, um, the grounds are, are just perfect. They've got all kinds of activities for the kids from a, a miniature golf to a playground, a volleyball courts, a sand beach. It's really a great place to stay and bring families and take a fishing trip as well. They've got a marina that you can rent boats. Anything from jet skis to fishing boats to pontoons to houseboats, you name it. It's really fun down here. Great for all year really, from spring to through fall. On top of that, just this past year, they put a, a new bar in the place and expanded their restaurant, and their food is second to none down here. They've got the locals going crazy. And if you want to check them out, just go to moorsresort.com. This guy goes in the cooler. You want to go to the Moors? I'll show you the cleaning station. That might be a bass. No, it's a nice white. Oh, yeah. Nice white. Nice white. Good one, Larry. <laughs> That's a good one. 
That's a good one there. Come here. Whoa. Nice one. Look at that baby. Oh, yeah. I knew that was a good one. Just look how thick it is across the back. That's a good Kentucky Lake white bass. Good and healthy. Oh, flip them in. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what, that's just about a limit, isn't it? It's real, real <laughs> close, Larry. <laughs> hey, folks, we got a mess of fish to clean, but I want to thank the Moors for having us down here. Moors Resort, you can check them out at mooresresort.com. Also want to thank this guy. It is always a pleasure to come down and fish with Don. Don, thank you, Larry. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate your help. Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski. We'll catch you later.